What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? In today's video, we're going to dive into something that is going viral all over the internet. Girl, if I get one more tweet about the Crayola Beauty Collection, I'm gonna come out this damn camera and fight you. <laughs> Today, we are gonna be testing out this collection. We, we have it all here. Now, if you haven't heard of this, you may be busy taking care of your kids or blowing your husband, but I will tell you this, this shit has never been tweeted as much um, as like, oh, <gasps> girl, don't drop it. This has been sent to me all week. Um, I had this overnighted, and then you know what happened the other day, you guys, when it got here? The jet lag hit me. Now, I was in Europe last week. I am still 10 hours ahead mentally, so girl, I am finally able to sit down, get some energy. Um, besides this review, I have been working hard, of course, on so many brand new collections. First of all, the Thirsty Collection launches June 16th. Where's she at, girl? Bam! Of course, this and my entire summer collection launches on June 16th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, shameless plug, over. But also, the Jeffree Star Cosmetics concealer it's coming this year so saddle up all right you guys so let's dive into this review I have no idea what to expect but um if you want to see this debauchery go down then keep on watching all right so if you have been watching my channel all year you may be having a moment of like wait am I having deja vu no when I first saw the press uh, pictures for this collection. I was like, wait a minute. Now, in February, I reviewed this bad boy, the Box of Crayons palette. Now, this eyeshadow palette went viral on its own, and so many of you requested me to review this. Now, I actually lived for this palette. Um, I'll link this video actually down below. It's almost at 4 million views, and so many of you lived and breathed for this palette. I know a lot of you have bought it, and this brand is actually really cool. Um, I love their creativity. So, when I saw this, I was like, Hmm. Now, obviously, this brand was inspired by crayons. Um, first of all, I know y'all are gonna read me. Crayon or crayon? Um, we all come from different parts of the world. I always just say, what's up, crayon? Um, and if you don't like that, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so if you guys remember or did not watch this video, let me give you a quick recap. This brand, of course, was inspired by crayons. Um, they actually own the trademark for this. Now, I had to do a little Google search on everything because I was a little confused. There has been a little uh, conspiracy going around the internet that because this was such a huge seller months ago that the brand Crayola was like, hmm, we need to come in the game and kind of uh, do our own thing. Now, I don't know if that's true. Is it a myth? Is it a rumor? Is it reality? I have no idea. You'd have to ask the CEO of Crayola. But I had to do some quick Googling searches because I was confused of um, what things were. Uh, so a crayon is a pencil or stick of colored chalk or wax used for drawing. Obviously, we know that. But I wasn't sure if Crayola owned the word crayon. They actually don't. So when you go to search for trademarks, now you can look up anyone's trademark from any brand and see what they own. So if you look up Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, on a trademark site, you will see I own the words androgyny, beauty killer, skin frost. Um, so if anyone else tried to use those words for makeup or fashion, I could sue them, um, which I have done before and won. So anyway, the box of crayons palette is um, trademarked by the owner, of course, of this brand, and the crayon case, which is the name of the brand, is also a registered trademark. So, um, they do have their business in order. Now, Crayola, of course, itself is a registered trademark, um, and they have teamed up with, of course, the brand ASOS. Is ASOS allowed to be called a brand? It's a big fashion website that a lot of influencers buy, um, or get free clothes from, and a lot of people shop on there. I personally have never been on there, but I broke my virginity because I had this collection overnighted to my house, of course, and I bought um, a lot of these staples. Now, when I looked at the packaging, I thought it was kind of cute. Let's be honest. This is very reminiscent of my childhood. I did not grow up with iPads as a kid. I grew up with crayons, markers, and playing hopscotch, okay? We did not have Fortnite, and I wasn't blowing anyone yet, <laughs> but, um, or was I? All right, so when I saw the packaging, I was like, okay, not gonna lie, bitch, it's cute. We're gonna go into it a little in-depth more later, but I have to smell this. Hmm, it smells normal. Now, we're gonna try it out. I have some, we have a face palette, so we're gonna do contour, highlight, some eyes, and lip. That's what we're getting into today, people. So, um, to me, this might be a little overpriced, okay? Now, when I see the packaging, I'm like, that's un it's underwhelming. Is it a Crayola staple? Of course, yes. Um, but it's not like it's mind-blowing. This is literally a cheap box. So, when I saw the price of this, I was like, hmm. All right, so this little guy is $24. I'm like, 
Oh fuck, I just spilled Red Bull everywhere. Pause. <laughs> All right, so these bad boys are also, I have bad luck. <laughs> the face palette is also $24. And uh, I think here's the blush, one of the blush shades fell out. Okay, there's no pan in there. So this is $24. Oh wow, when you try to press it back in and it breaks. And the mascara will retail for about $13. So the prices aren't that crazy, but for how kind of like, this looks, I mean, this looks like kids makeup, does it not? It should be a little cheaper, I think, but I think they're trying to put on that ASOS price tag and I'm like, <coughs> honey, slow it down. Okay, so we're gonna attempt to use this face palette and uh, they all look very shimmery. This looks like it's from Claire's, does it not? Can we all take a breath of fresh air here? I'm like, Okay, so this multitasking palette includes 10 shades of blusher, bronzer, and highlighter. The soft and creamy powders create, create a healthy glow for every skin tone. The talc-free formula is easy to blend and build to help you sculpt, brighten, and contour. Um, it says for adult use only, even though it looks like it's for a five-year-old. It's made in Italy. This collection is cruelty-free, vegan, and they keep saying talc-free. I don't mind that. A lot of eyeshadows have talc, and they blend. Amazing. This is a Crayola official licensed product. Quality guaranteed. Okay, let's see if it really works. So we're gonna open up this bad boy. Now, obviously I have foundation on, concealer, and um, foundation powder, that is it. So we're gonna take a little, should we use this? It's a little big. Let's do this, and we're gonna bronze our faces. Now, this is what we get, I think, for bronzing. This is very shimmery. Should we touch one? Oh, it's, it feels really soft. Oh, wow. Okay, well, well wait a minute here. Let me, let me swatch a few for y'all. Let's see what we really think here. There we go, and there we go. Whoa, highlighters. There's pigment, y'all. There is mother pigment. Okay, so we're gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury brush. We're just gonna go right in here and let's see. That's so weird how they chose to do it like flat. There's no names, there's no nothing. It's just like a little like kaleidoscope. Let's see what happens. Okay, I mean, it showed up right away. Thank God, thank God. All right, so we are bronzing up the forehead, the cheekbones, and now a little bit on the nose. Now, I'm actually not mad at this powder. I've definitely reviewed a lot worse. Now, is everything else gonna work? Let's see in a second, but so far, so good. All right, now the swatches of the highlighters were kind of like, whoa, living, breathing for. So we're gonna highlight in a second. Why don't we do a little blush, okay? We're gonna take this little Surat Beauty blush brush. And what am I feeling today? What am I wearing? Oh wow, this look a little dark for me. Maybe we'll just barely, even the, the one that broke is a really pretty color. Oh wow, there is pigment on that brush. All right, let's press it into my skin. And, oh wow, okay, it's there. It's a little clown-like. Let me diffuse it in a second. But maybe we want a high fashion look today, honey. Crayola, what's good? I could have went a little less with that. Jesus, take the wheel. Okay, now we're gonna do the other side. Uh, let's try the pink, who cares? Two colored cheeks is like the new thing, bitch. Ooh, this one's a little more softer. I kind of live for this one. That other one was really pigmented, which we all love on this channel. We love a pigment. I always do this. Lipstick Nick calls this veiling, taking a little bit of powder on a brush and just kind of pushing the products together, mixing the bronzer and the blush together and just making them a family. All right, give me a highlighting brush, honey. And we're gonna go in with this little champagne and rose gold moment. Let's do both, let's dip and dip. Oh, wow, bitch, the fallout though, honey. Looks like Johnny Depp snorting coke and blow. Like, I can't. <laughs> ah, okay, little better. There we go. It looked more reflective on my hand, not gonna lie, but this is cute. If you're someone that doesn't wanna look like a beacon or a lighthouse, you may like this. Okay, it is buildable. Um, we aren't too mad at it. Let's put some on the brow bone. What brow, bitch? What fucking brow? She has a little bit of shine, people. The fallout, though. I hate blowing, like, in videos this much, but girl. Ooh, that is severe. Okay, the highlighter works. Praise Jesus. All right, now I'm gonna dip into this little gold shade and back and forth. And we're just gonna go on the bridge of the nose. Ooh, okay, like, this fucking palette ain't not bad. All right, now let's move on to the eyes. Okay, now this is what everyone kept telling me, like, Jeffrey, you have to try these pencils. Um, so, 
The packaging looks like this, like a literal Crayola box. Now, as a kid, I loved crayons. I loved drawing. I loved um, just art in general. I was art obsessed. Now, this is a multitasking crayon for eyes, lips, and cheeks, okay, with highly pigmented color and an ultra creamy soft texture. All right, so eyes, lips, and cheeks, huh. That is interesting. Oh, okay, before we dive into the eyes though, I forgot we had one more thing. Crayola Beauty has a highlighter crayon. Shine a spotlight on your skin. This creamy textured and easily blendable highlighter will give you the ultimate radiance. Girl, let's see about that. All right, so this is what it looks like. Oh wow, it looks very like something Pat McGrath did to be really honest here. Okay, let's see what this looks like here. Uh, very cream highlighter, um, and what I mean by that is like it looks like a lot of stuff I've tried this year. Not as blinding as I would expect, it has a little bit of a sheen, but it feels very like slick. So I feel like if I put this over this, it's gonna like pull my foundation off, and we don't want that. But let's just do a little right here. Oh, okay, there we go. I'm just gonna put some on my chin. I know this might be a little weird to everyone, but hi. Maybe a UFO will just land right on my chin later. So what did that even look like, honey? Let's take a peek here. Oh my God. What the hell did I do, you guys? Oh my God. Okay, I'm I'm insecure about this, but we're gonna zoom in on my chin. It lit it took the foundation off. Oh, uh-uh. Hmm. Okay, now we're officially moving on to the eyes. This one, what is this called? This is called the face, oh yeah, the face crayon. This is shade Marvelous. Now, I have no idea what to expect. It looks like this, of course, a real crayon. I look like I'm about to go coloring. Now, I don't know how much product is in there. Let's look at the box. It says 0 0.07 ounces. Now, okay, when you turn this, let's see how much is actually in here. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot of product. I'm not mad at that whatsoever. So let's do a little hand test to see what the hell we're getting ourselves into. Oh wow, it looks like a sheer satiny lipstick, to be really honest. Now it says it's for the eyes, cheeks, and the mouth. I don't know what is about to happen, but let's put this on the lid and see what happens. And then we're gonna dive in to the Mermaid eyeshadow palette, which looks like this. It looks identical to the face palette, but of course with all shadows. And I guess they all look shimmery to me. There's no mattes. But we'll test a few out. We'll see what, what's gonna happen. But first of all, let's take this and let's try it on my lid. Sturdy. There's a little bit of product that came off right there. This, I don't know about this crayon, honey. This is the hand, and that's the lid. Like, how does it more sheer on my eye, and how does it look that, like that on my hand? I'm so confused. Okay, I'm a little confused, you guys. The eyelids are not looking cute. Let me take this clean brush. I think it's clean, let's make sure. Yes, it is, okay. And let's pretend we're just gonna like blend that out. Oh, it still feels like tacky, like some just came off on my finger. I wonder if it dries, like... Okay, let's move on and let's try to dive into this guy. Um, I immediately want to go right here and just go blue. Oh, wow, okay. So this has pigment. I don't know what's going on here. We're gonna have to go back to that in a second, but this, let's see if it actually works on the eye. We'll just tuck this into my crease here, have a little cotton candy fantasy. We'll try the other side in a minute, but... Oh, wow, okay. Okay, as I start to blend out, though, it is shearing out a little bit. We're just gonna take the brush and blend upwards so we get a nice little airbrush moment. It's like the quality of the shadow is not there. Like I'm hitting it with my brush and I'm like, cute work. And then as I blend it out, it's just kind of like, uh, it's all right. All right, now I'm gonna get another brush. We're gonna um, apply the other eye that has nothing on it. There's no base. And let's go over here and let's dip into, let's do this little cyan blue color. Okay, as you guys see, I'm barely dipping in and there's a lot of fallout. Not the end of the world, but, and then I hit it once, all the product's gone. So I don't know if it's the ingredients um, or what, but let's blend this out. And actually just press that on my lid. Mm, okay, now let's go to this dark purple shade. See if we can get a little bit more pigment over here. Okay, so last year I did a video testing out actual kids' makeup, children's makeup, um, and this is very reminiscent of that. Like, what in the actual hell is going on with this palette? Look at the streakiness. This is so weird. I'm gonna tilt my head back so you guys can see. What 
the actual hell happened right here. Okay, we're gonna dip into, let's try this one. You know what, I'm gonna try my finger, fuck it. Okay, it's on my finger, let's press it on the lid. Okay, is someone playing a fucking joke on me right now? I mean... I feel like I'm going crazy. I have to grab something else to make sure my lids aren't just flopping. What if my lids have no pigment today and I'm a fucking idiot? Okay, we're gonna take the Rihanna highlighter. Let's just do this. Hi, okay. Am I going crazy? Does my skin not wanna take makeup today? Now this was just sitting here. I know I filmed with it last week. I still live and breathe for these. And you guys can see the huge difference in quality of this, which isn't even a real eyeshadow, but of course Rihanna and Priscilla Ono are like, honey, everything can be used for everything. It works, great. I had to make sure I wasn't going crazy because for a minute I'm like, am I high? I'm sober today, what's happening to me? Okay, this, no comment. All right, now there's one more. I just want to make sure I'm not going crazy. Lip and cheek crayon. Um, this is, Oh, only for, oh, this is so weird. Why does this one say I? And then this one only says, this is so bizarre. I'm still gonna just test it on my hand here. Oh, wow. I mean, you guys, that is fucking sheer. Anyway, what else do we have for eyes? Looking at the table, oh my God, mascara, duh. We showed this off in the intro. So there's black and blue, there's two colors. We have turquoise, blue, and black. All right, let's dip in and let's try this. It's either gonna work or it's not. That's really the only options here, people. You guys, where's the box? Water resistant that gives volume and definition. Got it. So I had to make sure, cause I'm like, I'm not really seeing either here. Okay, we're, let's be fair, we're doing another dip. Got it, bam. I feel like the bottoms are a little better than the top. <laughs> All right, just to make sure um, I'm not going crazy, I'm gonna pull out this little benefit for fun. And we're gonna do a little Battle right here and now, people. Let's do it. There's a mascara dot on my skin. Usually mascara dries. That one, water resistant, did not dry. So we're just gonna let that dry for a second and then I'll show you guys a good tip how to remove that. So let's go back over here. Jesus, today is not my day. Okay, now this is how I like my bottom mascara. You can definitely see the difference. Here's the Crayola side, and here is the Benefit Roller Lash side. Now, whenever mascara bumps my skin, I let it dry, and then I take a spoolie, and you can just kinda go like that, and look, voila, it's gone. Yay. Okay, yeah, see the difference with the mascara? Honey. Okay, guys, we are going to move on from the eye section, and we have one more thing um, to review. Now, it is lips. Now, I expected this brand to have a liquid lip, or a stick lip formula. I'm looking on the website here and that does not exist, but there is a customizable lip palette. Now remember, these are supposed to be for lip and cheek as well, but I was expecting like a full pigmented lipstick thing. There is a customizable lip palette. Now when I saw this, I was like, Anastasia Beverly Hills, What's happening, honey? Um, this is very reminiscent of the Lip Art palette. Um, not reminiscent, identical. Uh, <laughs> now, when I opened this, this little card came out. Maybe this is for mixing or scooping out product. I'm not sure. I am not gonna be mixing products today. I am just gonna dive in like this. And we're just gonna see, for fun, if this has pigment. All right, so I got me a lip brush right here. Now, of course, all these are supposed to be are melted down lipsticks in a pan, but oh wow, that actually looks like it has some color. Ah, oh wow. Wow, okay. Maybe there's a happy ending to this. Feeling a little gummy, see like, kind of flaking off a little bit. It started off really good with that first swatch and now it's turning into like, I'm putting on Halloween makeup a little bit. This is a little weird. It's very flaky, like I'm not living for the formula actually. I'm like, I started to get excited and then I started to apply more. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is what's happening with the lips today. This is such a weird formula. What is this? Okay, I think this is as good as it's gonna get. I look like I'm about to perform in the circus, girl. I really do. Okay, just for shits and giggles, I gotta touch this white one. This is like a mixer, but I just wanna go right here, like. Mm-hmm, gotta give my mouth some redemption here. Okay, oh wow, what the? All right, um, I'm ready to dive into my final thoughts. Now I was planning on setting this face, but um, I don't wanna keep it on all night. I don't wanna keep this on much longer. <laughs> um, all right, so let's dive in. I will say this, let's start with the positive. There was a few moments that I actually was like, you know what guys, this is cool. 
And um, that would be the face palette. Now, the bronzer and the highlighter, um, minus the packaging flaws and the um, blush falling out, I overall liked it. I think the bronzer was cute. At first I was like, what is about to happen? But it turned out really nice. I would wear this on the daily. The highlighter is very cute. It's a little sheer for my liking, but I like the way it looks when I'm moving my skin. Um, my skin. When I'm, when I'm moving my face, I like uh, how it looks. It looks really pretty. Love this. Love it all. Um, no, I don't love it all. That's a, that's a lie. But I did love this moment. I think this is probably the only product from the collection that uh, is cute. Now everything else, you guys just saw what happened. Let's keep it really real with each other. This eye over here, until Fenty was on the lids, it was a flop. But girl, this face crayon was not cute. I don't know what kind of blush th th this brand was thinking was going to happen here. Not today. Now the Mermaid eyeshadow palette. Girl, what the hell? I don't know if the formula is different than the face palette, or maybe these are just really sheer and not supposed to be like on the like high end side. I'm, I mean, for the price point, $24, I expected some pigment, and the packaging says, for adults only, so uh, insert joke here. This was a flop for me. I'm looking at the monitor like, got it. Um, this was a flop for me. Now, moving on, this lip, I feel like I'm in like, I'm playing in like old, like my grandma's makeup. Like, it feels a little, a little Play Doh we. I'm not living for it at all. Um, the idea was there, it could have been cute, but flop. Is the Crayola Beauty Collection Jeffree Star approved? After I applied the mascara and saw it looking pitiful, it was a no for me. The entire collection, I think the idea was cute. I still can't get over um, this happening. Was Crayola like, wow, this company is having a crayon moment and now we want to have our moment and try to enter the beauty world. It, the timing in the same year is a little off for me and it's a little weird, um, so I have no idea. But overall, the packaging, it feels kind of cheap. It does look nostalgic and kind of cute, almost like a Nickelodeon moment, but then the formula, I can't do it. So without further ado, I am going to go uh, take this all off. Please pray for me because uh, this was a no for me. <laughs> all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. <sighs> This is how I'm feeling right now. Like, imagine if this is a really pigmented lipstick. It would be a disaster. It's like already, I can like probably wipe it into my skin and it would be uh, evaporated. Okay. I love you guys. On to the next one. Mwah. <laughs> Bye guys.